Good start. You all right there, buddy? Good start to a winter time morning here. All right. Came out first time I've seen water temperatures in the 50s this whole winter so far. Tied on the X shed and the cockaho color. Cockahoes are great baits for dead of the winter. This is one of the main forages for speckled trout and redfish. We're gonna start off in some dead end canals. Redfish love dead end canals. We got a plethora of these smaller, like 15 to 18 inch reds, all in South Louisiana right now. And I'm gonna, we're gonna try out some of our favorite areas where small redfish like this like to gang out. This is one of my favorite things to do. This is a great eating size redfish. It's not them big ones. Fun little fight, not the big tackle busting reds. And we're gonna be using the uh, Kakaho X Shed, phenomenal winter bait. This is my favorite dead of the winter lure right here. First one. A greenie? Oh, greenie. That's the first one I've seen back here this winter. Hadn't been seeing too many marsh bass at a lot of my favorite marsh bass spots. We had a tremendous amount of salt, big saltwater intrusion this fall and summer, and the, the marsh bass really got either killed or pushed back to the other areas. So, this is nice to see. Nice little marsh bass. This is very common to see, mixed with the smaller reds in the winter time. Again, I, this is really one of my favorite things to do, especially after a cold front. Uh, you know, this is the day after a big front, really cold, bundled up, water temperatures hit the 50s. I'm not a huge fan of fishing trout the day after a front, but I do like fishing redfish and bass. They seem to really eat up. I usually like to target my trout days when I got a little more cloud cover and it warms up a little bit more like an approach in front is coming when the next one is. Day after the front, let's stay after these reds and bass. It's probably going to be mostly redfish today. I think that bass was more of a fluke. Fish again. Got out of the dead ends. Just moved up the way a little bit. Still fishing some pretty deep water. Working the same wintertime drops. Catching more reds. Got a little rat ran. The first two were keepers. This one's a throwback. Although the trout limits have changed, redfish limits are still the same at the moment. 16 inches. But what I've done now, the dead ends had a couple fish in them, but wasn't really happening. I like those dead ends when the water's super, super low. So now we came out to the main lagoon here. I've seen Dudley right up here in front of us. We caught a nice red by him earlier and I see them using slip corks with live bait and they're catching them pretty good. Here's your Kakao X Shed pack right here. These things are absolutely beautiful. Got them hand painted to look just like a Kakao minnow. We keep them in these really nice trays to try to keep that. We want them to stay by themselves when they're getting shipped around. We don't want them touching each other. These are expensive. 
put a fresh one on. They knocked the paint off of that one pretty good. We've been catching a lot of fish on it so far. Got a fresh one on there. What you want to do, I love them on these screw locks. Push it all the way to that screw and then screw it on. Get it nice and straight. Absolutely beautiful lure right there. All right, got another one. Little stretch. That's a little stretch. So I left those man made areas that we started in the last few clips. Phenomenal areas. That's more consistent. I really favor those when the water's dog low, super cold, most like bone chilling conditions. Now, Water temperatures are warming up some. The tide's falling pretty hard, but it's not super low. So now we're fishing more of a natural little ditches and bayous. We're gonna try some of these, see what we can do here. Just started in here, little creeks, looking at that four to seven foot range and see if we can find the reds like this stacked up in here. later looks like we might be on a little something in these little creeks though like I said these creeks are still good until the water temperatures get in the low 50s and the water is just totally gone if the water is totally gone you got to be in that six to ten foot of water at least sometimes even deeper and them reds will really really gang up right now we're catching a few they're kind of sporadic but we are catching them it's good to see these little ones back, you know, making a comeback. Um, I can see this summer being good. Our, our slot red fishing has been terrible the last several years. So it's good to see these juveniles. These are my favorite ones to eat, the ones that are obviously above 16 inches. And this is one of my favorite things to do here. And we're just simply fishing now stuff that I usually kill the bass in in the winter. Now we're just trying to see if the redfish are here. And it looks like they are. All right, whenever you're fishing these ditches like this, make sure I like to get up here high and be looking down in the water. So I got deep troughs in here. One side will be deep, the other side will be a flat. And you wanna have your eyes peeled on the flatty part while you're jigging the middle in case you see one floating over the flat. Now it's very common to see a really nice red floating over the flat while you're jigging the deep part. And I usually find the bigger ones, which we don't have a lot of those right now, they'll be on that shallow stuff. So keep your eyes peeled when you're in here. Don't think you're only going to catch them jigging. You can sight fish them while you're in these bayous. This water's ginging clear right now. But them smaller ones like the ones we're catching are a lot harder to see. Ugh, just keep missing them. I'm on a, I'm basically beached right now on this big flat, but they got fish stacked up right around this point here as it, you can see the deep trough right past this flat. Oh, I keep getting bites. I keep missing them. Got him that time. Let's see what it is stacked up. Looks like a little bass. A little bass stacked up right there. That's nice to see. I'm gonna let him go as we haven't been seeing too many bass. Looks like we found the bass ganged up here as we came in a little bit deeper ditch. 
Got these bass sitting right on this point right here. Glad, glad to start seeing a couple of bass. As they've been pretty non-existent with that big saltwater intrusion. That was another one right there. Found them in this little body right here. Pretty thick. Pretty thick. So maybe they're making a little bit of a comeback. But look at that. Three in a row, baby. Three in a row. Nice little chunkers. Look at the little fat, fat little booglers. Look at that dude's like a little broke back. Huh. Kakaho X shed. Moved into a little bit deeper ditch. And uh, went a good ways without a bite. And now it looks like kind of found a group of a fish uh, stacked up right here. Right off this point, you can see that tide coming around the corner there. Oh, they're making a fool out of me. Making a fool out of me. I mean, I'm in like 12 inches of water, but I'm throwing into about five foot right here. Oh my gosh, I've had to miss six or seven fish just in the same exact spot. Nice bass, little chunks, little chunks. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there. Hope you guys got to see what to do on post front conditions. We have knocked the paint off of this Kakaho X shed right here, catching trout, I'm sorry, reds and bass all day. Rat reds, keeper reds, couple of bass. That Kakaho X Shad is phenomenal. Put it on them golden eye screw lock hooks. Make sure to subscribe to the monthly bait box. You'll be getting some of these Kakaho X Shads in your winter box. This is a great, great bait for the winter time when you're fishing these marshes, especially for small reds and bass, and if you can find an area with some speckled trout also. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode deep in the marsh catching reds getting away from the trout and some bass until next time good fishing